with today's Mostly Interesting, shall we? So the question is, how young is too young for kids to be exposed to things like eyebrow waxing? TikTok influencer Leah Garcia posted this video showing her waxing her daughter's unibrow. So the capture, caption oh. said, I don't care, I don't care. I'd rather y'all call me a bad mom before I let my three-year-old walk around with a unibrow like my parents did. So more than 40,000 people chimed in. Some are praising her, saying Garcia's daughter will thank her later in life. Others say Garcia is making her daughter insecure about something she hasn't even noticed yet. Hmm. I don't know. The first time I ever got my eyebrows waxed, I had to bring a friend because bring I, a friend. It was I, I was a little nervous. It's interesting. I ha I know parents who have done this, mm -hmm. but they I, but the funny thing was it kind of was like the dad who was because he was oh. the one who had for years had this you know he looked like Bert uh -huh. from this, from Sesame Street. So he was like I can't do that to my to my daughters. <laughs> so, that was, so that was what he did. So I don't know. I'm sure there's probably lots of opinions. I think it's, you know, the parent's discretion is usually the best one. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know your kid there. the best. I know. And your anatomy the best. Yes. Good luck out there. Right. Everybody. All right. Moving on now to Halloween candy. Since we know that it comes around the same time every single year, the end of October, uh, apparently though we're not very good at planning for it, mm -hmm. specifically the candy buying part. <laughs> so Store Rite Aid looked at its sales data from all of last October and found that nearly half of candy purchases that happened in the month were lead the week leading up to the holiday. As they put it, we're on to you procrastinators. <laughs> Some other findings, chocolate made up almost two thirds of sales versus gummies or other sweets. And the most popular chocolates were Milky Ways, which surprises me, hmm. uh, M&Ms and Reese's Pumpkins. Now that one doesn't surprise me. I have a theory on oh. this. Ooh. I think that people don't buy it early because if you're like me and you have candy in your house, you're going to eat it. You, I mean, if you don't, then oh, good for you that you have that sort of self-control. But I feel like people are like, listen, we got to buy this stuff at the last minute or else we're going to eat it all. Then we got to buy it again and it's expensive. I know it is. Well, and one of my favorite things to do is to go the day after Halloween and get all of the candy because it's on sale. That's where the smart money is. All right, when we come back. <laughs>